What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here, the first completely free real estate coach trying to bring you more value than anybody else on the face of the planet. Today I want to talk about a deal that I lost this week, $600,000 cash deal. It was a cash deal, um, it was a, a big house and I lost it, right? It was supposed to close this week. I've already put the work in, already listed it, tried to sell it for probably six months, finally got a contract on it, get all the way down to the week of closing, and boom, it falls through. So I wanna tell you what happened. I wanna give you my thought process behind it and what I'm doing to move forward to continue to use this to be more productive because that's what it's all about. When you lose a deal, it's about what did you learn from it and how can we spin this into a positive direction to produce more, help more people and put ourselves in a better position, right? Because a lot of people take a lost deal and they sulk about it and all, they, all they're doing is hurting their business, right? Their business is going to dwindle. Their business is going to suffer because you are sulking when you could be spending that time thinking about the positive spinoffs that you could take from that lost deal and apply it to your business to grow even faster. When you lose a deal, it's actually a good way to multiply your business. Okay, so normally what I say is, is when you lose a deal, what do you get? You get future time back that you can go do five more deals. That's kind of one of my big philosophies, right, behind the Zero to Diamond program. And I think it's huge because a lot of people take that lost deal, like I said, and they sulk instead of trying to figure out how to create more business with that same time that you could have spent on that deal, right? Because when you, when you lose the deal, you, you also got the future time back that you would have spent signing the listing, going to the closing, showing the properties, negotiating, open houses, all the stuff that you do, you just got all those hours, hours and hours and hours back now you can go do more business. However, on this deal, I didn't get future time back necessarily because I'd already put all the time in and it fell through at the last moment, okay? So it fell through because the buyer you know, and the seller didn't see eye to eye on something. It was more of a, a personal vendetta kind of thing. It was like a principle, right? They backed out because of principle. The buyer walked away because they didn't see eye to eye with the seller on something and it didn't work out. Not getting, gonna get into all the details, but it just didn't work out and it wasn't really over anything in the deal. It was just that the buyer didn't see eye to eye with the seller on something. The seller didn't see eye to eye with the buyer on something. It just kind of fell apart. Nothing I could have done. I did everything I could do to keep it together, but in the end, you can't control the results. And that's why I say, do not tie yourself to the results because you can't control it all the way to the end. You're not in complete control, so just do your best. If it closes, great. If not, let's figure out how to create that positive spinoff. So I can't get the future time back because all the time I spent on it was past time that I lost. Okay, so how do I look at it now from this angle moving forward? Relationships over transactions. I've created such a deep relationship with the seller. When the deal fell apart, there's no question that he's going to continue to allow me to market that property until it sells. What did I do? We got another sign to put in the back of the house. Now I just paid for drone footage of the house, right? I'm adding marketing material to the situation. And this is after he said that, you know, he's going to definitely allow me, you know, we didn't even talk about canceling or taking it off the market or letting another agent list or anything like that. That's never even been brought up. And so what I want you to get out of this video and this loss that I had is that when you value relationships over transactions and you lose the deal, you haven't really lost anything because you're still gonna get the deal later, it just got prolonged. If you created that deep relationship, okay? Now, you can't do everything right. Sometimes the relationship is just not there and you didn't create a great relationship because you pretty much maybe didn't even get along for whatever reason, it happens and they may take the listing away from you. That's fine too. That is future time because now moving forward, I have to do things, set up the drone, get the, get the uh, sign out and back, set up more showings, negotiate more deals. There is future time now that if he did take that listing away from me at this point, I would only have past time that I lost, which is fine. You have to risk time to succeed. You have to risk time and be okay with the fact that you might lose time invested over trying to succeed, right? There, you have to take that risk. 
And so if I did lose all that past time, it did come down to the closing, he did take the listing from me because we didn't really get along as well as I thought we did, I would have to say to myself at that point, okay, cool, I just got all this future time back of this second half of the listing, right? So there's always a positive spin off losing the deal and it's not hard to find either. Just most people only look at the negatives and let that hold them back when they should let it move them forward, if you will. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. It was, it was a big loss. It did hurt for a second. I gave myself five minutes to think about it. I thought about all the positive spinoffs that came out of it and how good of a relationship I built with the seller and um, just super happy and grateful to, to be here, to be in the position to lose a listing um, in the first place. Because guys, if you're not losing listings, you're not getting any listings. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You're going to lose deals, that's inevitable. You can't prevent any losses, it's going to happen. And the bigger and the most success that you have, the more deals you're gonna lose. So remember that, don't let it hurt so bad, find that positive spin off, and let me know what I can do to help you. And Take all that negativity and put it on me. Take all that negativity and let me carry that on my shoulders, on Ricky Carew's shoulders. Let me take it for you so that you can see the positives and keep moving forward to multiply your business out of lost deals. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. Shoot me a comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you want me to make. And anything else in the world I can do for you, hit me up on Instagram, at Ricky Carruth. We'll talk to you soon.